Welcome to Dry Arabia! And today, spawning in the north corner of the map in yellow, we've got Beastie QT playing as the Malians. He's facing up today against 3DB, spawning in the south. In orange, also playing as the Malians. Welcome, welcome everyone to this Malians mirror on Dry Arabia and what promises to be a fantastic game of Age of Empires 4. I feel it in my bones. And well, with a Marlin's mirror like this, it's going to come down to fine details, delicate details, intricate details. Question is, who's going to come up on top in this rivalry? We love this matchup. We've seen it time and time again. There's history. And well, with the Marlin's mirror, we haven't seen the Marlin's being played quite a, for a while on this channel. So I'm pretty excited to see how this matchup pans out. With B actually only building four houses and around that pit mine. And that's kind of interesting. Like, so if you don't know about the pit mine, if you're new to Age of Empires 4, then first of all, welcome. Welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Well, the pit mine is a economy building for the Marlins that passively generates gold. So you, you place it on the pit mine, the, the gold mines rather. And if you build houses around it or maybe mining camps, the number you have around the pit mine, the more gold you get. So the more houses you get around the pit mine, the more mining camps you get around the pit mine, the more gold you get. 70 per minute coming in for B. Whereas BC's actually got 60 houses and that would mean he'll be getting 87 gold per minute so a little bit of intricate detail there already it means that beastie qt will have a little bit more gold trickling in into that feudal age as he reaches there but this does mean that b will have an extra village on food it probably means he gets to the next stage a little bit quicker the question is what does he do with a faster feudal age time that is the real question will he be able to pile on pressure will he be able to cause some damage we will have to find out in this match hope you guys have been enjoying the casted content so far on the channel Plenty of more content coming your way. And more importantly, I am thinking of making some investments to the channel. Think about starting to cast games in 4K. That's right, 4K. Let me know. I'm not totally decided yet. Hopefully I will. But let me know in the comment section below if you would love to see casted content in 4K. Because uh, I need to make sure that it's worth it, right? It's going to be thinking about getting a PC upgrade because, of course, I'm using frozen peas at the moment. As you guys know, I have a bit of a heating problem with my laptop. And uh, struggling, it's just on its last bare bones. It's quite a strong laptop, but the trouble is, is it just overheats so, so badly. So, you know, I want to be able to get a better PC, maybe start streaming, start casting in 4K. How does that sound to you guys? Let me know in the comment section below. And, uh, well, we're going to be moving over to the Mansa Quarry. That's what's being built for B to get that gold trickle in, most likely for both players, because BCQT is going for the gold as well with the Mansa Quarry. I could do with some gold right now. That would fund my next laptop, my next PC. In fact, I'm not going to get a laptop. I'm going to get a proper desktop PC so it doesn't overheat so much. Uh, that was probably the better option. I never thought I'd get into content creation, to be honest. So this is kind of a laptop I had from previous to that. Never anticipated it. Kind of happened. Uh, but I'm certainly enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. Speaking of which, if you are enjoying the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. More importantly, hit that notification bell. It gives you notifications whenever I go and post a video, which is pretty much daily at the moment. Well, B going to be getting that feud later nice and early. As you can see, B is going to get there pretty soon after. It does mean that B will get the villagers on wood a little bit quicker, but I don't know. I mean, it feels like BCQ's economy is just going to be stronger, right? Like he's had more gold coming in per minute for a little bit longer. He invested less villagers to go to build the Mansa Quarry, so he had more villagers actually getting resources for him. And overall, I'm not sure what the extra feud age kind of quick timing there does for B. Maybe it's a bit of a debate. We'll have to see. And we'll be getting a uh, mill, which will be giving those uh, sweet, sweet cows for the beef lovers out there. Now, there is actually a couple of options to these two civilizations in this matchup. So the Marlins, they can go for Fast Castle, for Rimba Garrison, pumping out units five at a time. Could think about going for the Grand Fulani Carol around the pastures. Pastures? No. I can't remember what they're called now. Wait a minute. Cattle Ranch, of course, cattle, you know. Makes sense. So we're going to get the cows in the Cattle Ranch, potentially. We'll see what both players opt to do in this matchup. Now, I think it's a tricky one because if you go for a Garrison, you have to make it worth your while, right? You have to be super aggressive. You've got to be making those units, causing some damage. You know, if, especially if you're going up against a Cattle Ranch build. If you go for the Cow Boom, then you've got a bit more leeway. You do have to defend quite nicely if you're up against a Furum Garrison. You might lose out on a couple of relics, but as long as the Cattle Ranch economy does start to kick in you'll start to pump out those units around about the 20 minute mark i would say 18 20 minute mark 
It's not the fastest thing in the world, but if you can hold up for that time, your economy will be looking strong. And of course, you don't use population space for that. So if you go super, super late game, the cow boom is super, super strong. I will see no real inkling of what's going to happen yet with uh, B now starting to send a village out to another pit mine, it seems. What's extra gold or is it? Wait, where's, where's it going? Yeah, hasn't placed the foundation just yet. But, well, we can't see it because we are toggled into Beastie. But yeah, we see the pit mine going now and Beastie looking to wall up as well, anticipating come a, a couple of aggressive units maybe from B. And I think this is really in reaction to the faster time for the feudal age, right? This is kind of interesting. It's actually kind of smart. It's actually really smart when you think about it. Like B probably fainted or faked. Go well, we I mean, did go to the feudal age quicker, but it's it's just a bit of a debate, right? Probably making Beastie think a bit paranoid, think about oh. He's be going to be aggressive, like always. Uh, forcing him into making palisade walls, spending that precious wood. And realistically, actually, B's not doing anything with that faster feudal age time. Not really. He does pick off a scout, though. It's a bit uncharacteristic by Beastie to lose that. Not, not typical for him to miss micro and lose units like that. Second pit mine has been built now by B. The same cannot be said for Beastie. Doesn't have a second gold vein. And let's talk about the map. So, uh, the wall is obviously pretty nicely done there for Beastie on the west side. On the east side, he could wall up pretty easily, quite nicely, and actually have it be, uh, some 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 deer, some berries, stone outcropping at the back of that, nice and protected, pretty, pretty good. Now, B can't really afford to wall up. I mean, the walls would be too extensive. We could potentially wall up to here, so he just stops units going through the town center. And potentially on the west, but it's quite a large wall here, to be fair, so I don't know how I feel about that. There's that secondary pit mine, kind of exposed area that could become a focus for attack later on in the game. We'll have to see. A couple of Donsos by 3DB just kind of threatening there. Here come the archers. Oh, this is really smart. I really like this play. And the reason why is because with, with B dictating like the unit composition at the early stages, he's gone for Donsos, forcing B Ste Beastie into an archery range. Get archers. And he might be considering to stay on that line. Which then would mean that B could go for javelin throwers. A unique unit for the Malian civilization. Fantastic at dealing with archers. We'll have to see how this one pans out. Pushed off of gold for now. That's actually kind of critical. Because he's going to go with the Farimba garrison. So B's to go in for the castle age. For early units. And look at that. B. He's feeling hungry. He's in the mood for some beef. He's going for the cow boom. And I like what I see. I think B has an opportunity to do a lot of eco booming. It just depends how much Beastie allows him to do, right? Because Beastie has two options here. He can look to try and get relics super early, which will help him scale his economy, but I don't think that's as good a trade off against the cow boom. I think going for relics immediately is kind of a mistake, unless he feels like he can't do damage, because I feel like that's actually what he really needs to do. He needs to do damage now, because he I'm not sure if he's aware, actually. He did lose his scout. I think that's actually kind of huge, that Beastie lost his scout. Did he make another one? Oh, no, he didn't. That's so, so critical. That is such an important detail in this game, guys. Because BT has no idea what's happening, right? I don't know if he even knows there's a cow boom happening. I think he's just expecting aggression, right? And the reason why he's ex expecting aggression is because B went up to the feudal age so, so fast. Such a fascinating way to think about this game, how B kind of debated BC so far, at least. BC almost sort of preparing for heavy push, and that's probably why he went to castle age for him garrison. Because he... Expected aggression, but rather B actually went for the cow boom. Imagine that, it's kind of fascinating how B went for that fast feudal age, kind of fainted, feigned, well, not fainted, but feigned aggression with that timing. But Beastie losing his scout is really critical because he doesn't know this is happening, right? And uh, B instead went for the, the cow boom, and it's going to go with the Grand Falana Coral as we kind of expected. Increases the food by 20 per minute for the cattle that's nearby. That's going to be so, so good for the food income. Look at that food income at the moment. 800 food per minute. Doesn't have a single villager on food. Now Beastie on the other hand has a much lower food income. But that's understandable because really his economy is, needs to be set up for the Farimba garrison. Which is obviously very gold heavy. Has got the first mosque up and running now. Going to get an imam to get those relics. Now the, uh, the task would be really to try and protect those relics as much as possible. Try and limit the amount of relics that Beastie can get. We'll see what job he can do with that. Fascinating game so far. Triple arch range, so plenty of javelin throwers will be popping out for this guy. Be very soon. There's the castle age coming in with the grand Fulani coral. 
No relics picked up yet, though. He has sent an imam. I think that's probably the second imam that's popped out. Yeah, there's the first. Couple of archers just pushing away the villagers off of gold. Now, B should be fine with this because he's got javelin throwers popping out. Javelin throwers will do more than enough to push this away. Now, these are veteran archers. Even with veteran archers uh, against just regular javelin throwers. Javelin throwers will be, will, will be doing fine, although these will be becoming veteran very soon. And he's going to get the iron undermesh upgrade as well. So, very, very strong position in terms of composition of units. And that's what's really going to hurt Beastie, I think. He's got more units. As we can see, more archers popping up. But I think... It's such a fascinating way that this game's panned out, right? Like, B starting off with Donsos, forcing Beastie into Archers, and Beastie hasn't transitioned away from that. It's going to be coming up against uh, Javelin Throws. It might be the case that Beastie needs to get some Sofa, but the trouble is that Farimba Garrison doesn't give you Sofa, right? This acts as a barracks and an archery range. It means that it's going to have to drop in stables, and it's going to need a farming economy or food economy, some sort of food economy. It does have deer to take here. The trouble is his economy is really set up on gold. And so now it has to rebalance things. It's actually kind of fascinating when you think about the economy split. Because BC is going very heavy on gold, right? To kind of fund the Farimba Garrison. But what it really needs now is food transitioning. So we can get some of those uh, Sofa to deal with the Javelin Throws. Because you can't just go straight Archers against this. B can just be happy to, to produce more Javelin Throws. And he'd be absolutely fine. Now on the back of this though, BC does have one Relic just about to be deposited. Has picked up... Well, he's deposited two now. He's got one in there on the way, so he's going to get three in total at the moment at least, for the time being. But you can see, look, veteran archers being pushed away by a couple of jam throws so, so nicely, and that's going to let the cow boom continue. Going to get another cattle ranch here, B. Doesn't have a single village on food, but has 900 food, 900 uh, odd food coming in per minute. Going to try and snag this one, Beastie, but he's being attacked by the wolf. He needs to deal with that. Oh, okay. Hello? Oh, that, that must be a bug. Did you guys see that? Beastie had his uh, Imam rallied back. But because the wolf started attacking him, he decided, no, I'd rather get bitten in the butt. Strange Imam, eh? This guy gets bitten in the butt. And decides to stop. Just He's enjoying it a bit too much, guys, I think. All right. This is a PG stream. Let's move away from that. Couple of stuff up, chasing away the scout. So Beastie did make a scout in the end. He just said, okay, enough is enough. I need to see what the heck is going on in this match. Trouble is, he's invested a lot into archers. <laughs> oh, God. That's not good, necessarily, because all B needs to do is go for javelin throws and sofas, and he'd be fine, absolutely fine getting triple stable. It's going to be easy to fund with the cow boom on the back of this. Denies the uh, sacred site being picked up. Oh, looks like the, uh, the imam decided to move away. Oh, got away with it. From the wolf, but not from the suffer. Suffer charge in. Poke. Down he goes. Drops the relic, I'm afraid. Only three relics so far for Beastie. So this is an interesting thing. Beastie is teched up to the next stage, to the car stage, but all it's really gotten him is three relics. But if you could choose between having three relics and this cow boom, definitely cow boom. Does have the West Sacred site. It's being teacapped now as we speak by a javelin thrower. We see another Imam for Beastie. Maybe they could pick up that relic, but I like what B is doing. He's just patrolling this relic. Making sure that it doesn't lose out too much. Poison arrows coming in. Iron Undermesh coming in for Beastie. He's doubling down on the archers. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Doesn't feel good. I'll say that much. I'll tell you what does feel good. For B at least. He's pushing the way the villagers off of gold. And that's an issue. Because now the Firma Garrison can't be used to its maximum effect. I'll tell you what other things been good. Felt really good. The support you guys have been giving me on the channel. It's been fantastic so far. I know you guys have been enjoying the casted game. It's, you can tell about the view accounts. It's been going up and up and up. And I really appreciate the support you guys have been giving. Uh, I love the content I'm making at the moment. It's getting better and better by day, I think. There's the aggression coming in. Well, there's a lot of javelin throwers focusing on the archers. Archers focusing on the sofa. That's actually quite nice for B. He's quite happy to soak up as much damage as he possibly can from the front line from the sofa. A couple of sofa there for Beastie getting involved in the fight. I think javelin throwers are getting huge amounts of value by taking out a lot of the archers. Not enough archers here, I think. I mean, there aren't huge amounts of javelin throwers, but they are the huge, direct, hard counter unit to these archers. And the sofa are a clutch play by B. There aren't enough sofa here for Beastie. That's the thing. He might just lose a straight up fight. He might. Who wins that? Oh, they both die at the same time, the two Sofas. But now that just leaves the uh, the Archers versus the Javan Throws. Javan Throws went their way through the Archers here for some reason. 
may have been a mistake, but Sofa adding into the fight for B. Now, Beastie does have the defender's advantage, so units will be coming out, but he's just banging his head against the wall, producing mirages against Sofa and Javan Throws. It's not the right unit. He could potentially go for Donsos and Javan Throws of his own, but it's tricky at the moment. He's not having a tech switch. He's going to lose another Imam there, Beastie. does have another Relic in his grasp. Will he be able to bring it home? No, that Imam goes, goes down and stuck with three for now. Three, Sofa will get taken apart. B will, lost a, will have lost his army, but... On the back of this, he's extended his pit mines. And uh, he's still got the cow boom, getting farming transition. He has killed villagers as well. He's killed six villagers so far, so he'll be happy with that. Villager lead. And uh, whilst he does have a military deficit, well, he's got the composition here that he wants. And I think that's really critical. Getting the melee armor upgrade as well. That will help his software out against the... Uh, get, it will help all his units out, out against the software from Beastie. Now, this is a tricky situation, Beastie. He can't really afford to be defensive here because he's behind on villagers, right? So that's to cause some damage. And if he waits too long, the B's economy will start to kick in and produce a lot more military. As we can see now, a lot of software there for B. He's going to dive in, clear up the software that Beastie has. No way out. The software is finally focusing on the javelin throws for Beastie. That's certainly the right play. Javelin throws are starting to dwindle, and that's huge because those archers were at, uh, at a risk. Even by three javelin throws, it's, it's still dishing out damage. The software going to push forward. Another software comes out for Beastie. Holding on for now. Relatively equal military numbers, but look at that. A software. A single software for B. Just peeling off to go to the gold, and that denies gold for Beastie. A lot of idle time being caused. So not only is he behind on villagers, he is being caused to have idle time. Seven villagers killed so far. Looking to get an eighth. And the gold is under pressure. This is exactly what B wants to do. Just kill villagers, cause idle time as much as he can, and produce from there. He's probably confident that his economy is better, especially with the uh, Grand Fulani Coral and the Cow Boom behind this. He's going to get Sacred Sites as well, which is a nice addition. He's getting the Sacred Site on the east side already under his control. Potentially getting, yeah, he's going to get the middle one as well, most likely. He's got one Relic in the bag. Two Relics in the bag! That's absolutely huge! Beastie Cutie went up to the Cars at age first and wasn't able to bag. Well, he managed to get three Relics, to be fair, but, you know, two Relics for B is not a bad thing at all. Especially because he's got the Sacred Site on the east side. And the pit mines. Look at this. He's really venturing into the neutral pit mines. 38 military to 31. This could come down to one big fight. A couple of software heading down the west way with a scout for Beastie. He'll spot this. Takes a fight. Well, the scout kind of diving in there a little bit. Jam throws. Clean that up. Healing away with four software. Four against four, actually. B Suffer would win. He's got the melee armor upgrade. And the attack upgrade as well. Melee attack upgrade as it happens. Alright, well, uh, Sacred Site on the west side being captured now. By B. He's going to activate the timer, right? The Sacred Site timer? No, maybe not. Sacred Site on the east side has been decapped. But with 45 military versus 43, B probably fancies his chances. Got the better blacksmith upgrades, got the better economy. Things looking nice for him in this matchup. Couple of stuff off of Beast, he's just raiding the gold vein, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough to cause critical damage. Doesn't lose a villager just yet. Here comes the aggression from both players in the middle of the map. Sofa charging in for Beastie, trying to get as many of those javelin throws as he possibly can. The Sofa, think about engaging with the Donsos. That might not be a good idea. Donsos are on the front line. Javelin throws for B. He needs to focus on the Donsos. If you can get rid of the Donsos, the Sofas can do a lot of damage. We can see the purple hue coming about because of the poison arrow upgrade. For the archers for Beastie, but Beastie is struggling. He's losing a lot of military. The Sofa are overwhelming there for B. He's taken out the Donsos, most of them at least, and now he's going to focus on the Javelin throws. And with that army gone away for Beastie, he is struggling. He's behind on military, behind on economy. How does he get back into the game? Maybe looking to get some static defenses. He needs to buy his time. Maybe get his town center up and try and survive. Try and take this game for as long as possible. The trouble is, the big trouble is, B was hungry, and he's got plenty of beef in the back in the in the fridge. I, I'd say. Plenty of beef he can take. Look at that. 1,700 food per minute. That's half farming transition as well. So that's certainly helping with that food. We can take out this pit mine. Minimizes even more gold coming in. The static defenses for BZ trying to get those walls out. But the aggressive walls. The question is whether we'll be able to keep them alive. And that's actually a bad situation. When veteran Donsos are running away from Sofa. It's not what you want to see if you're Beastie. Ministry numbers. Look at that. 59 to 18. 64 and counting. B's farming economy. He's... Our economy, his beef economy has really taken off and that's going to fund so many units. And I think this strong, he's looking strong. B's looking strong in this game. 
He's got a strong case to make for himself for winning this game. We shall see if he manages to see it out. BC going to hold on for now. As we're going to head into the 21st minute almost. Here's the engagement that I think might tell the difference in this match. We'll see if this is the fight that wins the game for B. Beastie just holding on for now. Trying to keep, keep back as much as possibly can. And keep producing units. I think he just needs to mass up as much as he possibly can. To take the best possible fight he can. Might try and fight in the trick point. Doesn't have enough just yet Beastie. 77 military to 28. Has activated the sacred site timer. Beastie will need to take an engagement. Needs to get out onto the map. Needs to decap a sacred site. Trouble is under pressure. Now with B taking out that mosque with three relics. That's going to be a big chunk of the gold income coming in. Poor BC taken out. Don says charge in. The mosque, mosque does go down. Here's the big engagement we we're expecting. The software on the front line. Not enough Donsos, I think. The archers on the back line for B that have been added. Going to pick them apart. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The cow boom has worked. B was hungry. He had beef on the menu. And well, he's taken away the chances for winning this game for Beastie QT. Taking down a beast. Hope you guys enjoyed the castle game. Take care and see you next time.